Now from the longtime home of the Angels, baseball from Orange County. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Minnesota Twins and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Andrew Heaney will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your tank on him, E.K.? Well, guys, his whip is above league average. Been dependable, but does run into some trouble. So we'll see how he fares in this one. Danny Santana heads for the batter's box, and we are just about ready for some evening baseball. Center fielder, number 39. Underway here in the Monday opener as the game's first pitch misses for ball one. And Eric, this Angel Ball Club entering play here tonight. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. And I think it's just going to be a matter of putting yesterday behind you. It wasn't their finest performance of the year, that's for sure, but they're capable of playing much better ball, and I think we'll see a sharper focus here in this one. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Starting to get a bit chilly here tonight. 57 degrees at game time. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Hard sinker misses two and two. Slider strike three called as the leadoff man is set down looking to open up the ball game. With that, a look at Paul Molitor's lineup for the visiting twins. Who do you have your eye on, EK? Yeah, well, you have to be excited to watch Brian Dozier play. He's having a great season offensively. As a result, is leading the entire American League in runs scored coming into this game. Definitely someone who could be a key factor in this one. Hit on the ground to short. Taken in by Simmons. In time to first, and there are two away. And with that, let's give you a look at the way the Angels match up defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. E.K., what do you got? Well, guys, we get to watch one of the best fielding teams in the league. They can go out and get the ball as well as anybody in all of baseball. Makes pitching a lot easier. Miguel Sano will dig in now. Currently ninth in the AL in hitting entering play. And he's right up there among the RBI leaders, too. So he's dangerous with runners on base. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Solo shot to right center. 19th home run for him on the season as the Twins take a 1 0 lead. That pitcher's got to be thinking, how can I throw a pitch like that in this situation? That thing was so right down the middle, it absolutely got hammered, and he knew it as soon as he let go of it. Brian Dozier will take his first cuts now. Currently second in the American second League in home base. runs. Well, he also Brian leads the league in Dozier. runs scored, so he's not just making stuff happen with the long ball. Oh. 
This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. So let's take a look at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Yeah, Rusty Valentine. What a great name. Besides that, he's known for being pretty spot on when it comes to calling pitches on the corners. If he misses one, it's usually up or down. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. All the way here to start the at-bat. And that's fine, but you can't be afraid to work inside. You can jam this guy. Get him to roll over something. You don't have to strike him out. Hit hard on the ground a second. Glove by Giovatella. Throw to Pujols is going to be in time, and the inning is over. But the Twins fire the opening salvo as they're on the board courtesy of this solo home run. Bottom of the first coming up. It's now 1-0 Minnesota. Trevor May gets the call for game one of the series. E.K., what do you got? Well, guys, he's having a real consistent year. He's got an ERA under three. Anytime you're doing something like that, you're doing just fine. Craig Gentry comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom and half of the first. The Left fielder, Craig Gentry. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. And EK, we take a look at the Twins as they begin play here tonight. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. And on top of that, they've already spotted their starter an early lead in this one, so they're going to let their guy work with the lead right away. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. And now he'll step off as they look for a strikeout pitch. Got him. Well, a moment now to take a look at the starting nine for Mike Sosha's Angels. Eric, who stands out to you? Well, guys, I'm excited to see how Uni Escobar does in this one. He's got a six-game hit streak going, and he's a very dangerous hitter when he's hot. Cole Calhoun will stand in, and as you can see, his home and road splits there. He's been a much better hitter away from home. Into the windup and the pitch. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. That first pitch is going to be key all night long. If he gets ahead early with the fastball, that's when he can get tough to figure out, especially with the arsenal that he has. And he falls behind 0-2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. On the ground to the left side. Oh, and he took his eye off it as it's right through him into left. And from his perspective on the mound, I think that's exactly where he wanted to throw that pitch. You can see it's tailing down and out of the strike zone, but he just sticks his bat out there and winds up taking it the other way. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. The average sits at 286 here to start play. 14 homers and 42 runs batted in. Runner at first here, one man out.
The 0 1 pitch. Here's a late oh, swing and a miss, right. strike two. It was kind of a delayed swing right there. He looked like he had to wait to see if it was going to be anywhere close, and now he's in a big hole. Nope. Tried to throw the fastball by him, but it's high, one and two. Well, that's a good thing that pitch was above the strike zone because a few inches lower, and that ball's right in his wheelhouse. Ball and two strikes. Here it is. Nope. To two balls and two strikes now. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. Runners on first with one down. Hit to short. Scooped up. Throw gets him, two down. With a moment now, let's give you a look at how the Twins stack up defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, guys, this defense really revolves around the catcher. Very good back there, blocks a lot of the balls, guides that pitching staff. Really the most important guy on this defense. Albert Pujols will stand in and as you take a look at the splits there he's actually a better hitter against right handed pitching this season. And here's a called strike to the 36 year old veteran it's nothing in one. Yeah, the best way to neutralize this guy's power, just keep putting pitches right there. It swung on and hit in the air. Santana on the move. He can't get there as it falls in. And the tying run comes around to score from second. It's one to one. And he is in there. So a run batted in there on the double as they've come back to tie the game at one in the opening frame. C.J. Crone will stand in, and as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against the southpaws than he does against right-handers. into the stand strike one ground ball sent back up the middle throw pulls the first baseman off the bag but well, you talk about being locked in at the plate right now that is ten straight games with a base hit now and it's going to be a lot of fun to see how long you can keep this thing going Here's the catcher Giovanni Soto now as he swings and hits this one foul off to the right and out of play. Now the 0-1. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0-2. The 0-2 home. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. Angels get one on the Pujols double. Second inning coming up. All even at one apiece. Jorge Polanco will lead things off here as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses. It's one and oh. Hit the other way out toward right field. On the move is Calhoun. 
And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting set, third baseman number 24, Trevor Plouffe. Trevor Plouffe will stand in for the first time now, and he'll do so as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. Well, right now, he's in the prime of his career, so these are the years you'd really expect to see the best of what a guy's going to have to offer. First delivery to him on the way. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Bases are empty. One man out. And he misses again. 2-0. and oh. This is a guy whose numbers are on the rise. And this is a big reason why. Two close pitches, two good takes, and now he's in a great hitter's count, 2-0. and oh. And this one's over at the knees, 2-1. and one. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on, it, especially when he needs that ground ball, but even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And a base hit as that's in the left, and they've got themselves a base runner. So it's a one-out base knock for him here in the second. Good time to check out the league leaders in hits. Yeah, Matt, he's one of the leaders in the American League this year, fifth at the moment. And I'll tell you, it almost looks like BP when he steps up to the plate, putting together another nice performance in this one, too. Hard hit ball to second. Gia Vitello's got it. Simmons over to Pujols, and it's a double play that'll get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More from Anaheim right after this. Yunel Escobar will stand in and you see what he's done over the past and four games the as hot as they come. Third baseman, Yunel Escobar. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Took a little off and it's in for a called strike one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. And, Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Batting eight. And with that, we give you a look here at the standings entering play in the AL Central. Andrelton Simmons steps in now, just hoping for something to go his way. And as you can see, that has not been the case in recent days. Here comes the first pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it. Sano. Two down. Batting ninth. Second baseman. Johnny Giavatella. Johnny Giavatella will stand in. Hoping to perhaps pick up a base hit so we can climb over that Mendoza line. Oh, I'll tell you, no hitter wants to go through a streak like this. Already the numbers don't look very good, and now he's hitless in his last 10. Hey. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. Hey. 
And it's quickly 0-2. Two out, nobody on. And another foul ball. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Strike three called and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order. We play two full innings and we are tied one to one. Eduardo Escobar will stand in and look at that average up over 370 to start the ball game. And that is huge for him too. This is a contract year for him so he'd love to take those great numbers straight to the negotiating table. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. and oh. And a sinker is over that time. It's back to 2-1. and one. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now three and one and this is a nice job so far out of that number eight hole taking some pitches trying to get on leading off the inning into his motion here comes the three and one line toward right center and this inning starts with a solid base hit the relay but it won't be in time and it's a leadoff double Right center field. This is a fastball, and he just slashes this thing the other way into the gap. No real chance for the outfielders to cut that one off, and he's going to wind up on second with a leadoff double. Eddie Rosario will make his way in now as you get a look at his splits there on your screen. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yeah. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. This is in the air out to straightaway center. On the move is Trout. Uh oh, he whips on it. in quickly with it as Trout and that'll hold the runner at third base. Yeah it looked like a fairly routine play there. Don't know if he took his eye off it or what but he winds up basically whiffing on the catch and that's going to wind up a two base air. Stepping in now, Danny Santana as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Pretty cool right there. You know, it's so important in a tough spot to get that first pitch strike over. And he's able to jump ahead. Line hard toward right center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. A great example right there, just using the whole field. Doesn't try to do too much here, just sort of inside outs that thing the other way. That'll be more than good enough to score that runner from third. Into the box now, Eduardo Nunez, as he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. Runners at the corners here, nobody out.
Not close. It's 2-0. You know what? He's starting to skate on some thin ice here, and sooner or later, he's going to have to challenge him. Hard back up the middle, and that is through into center field, a base hit. And the run is in to score from third. It's now 3-1. to one. And he is out on a strong throw. And this is a nice decision here in the outfield. The run's going to score easily, but he sees he might have a shot at that guy taking third. So this is a nice throw to gun him down and at least get an out on the play. Here's Miguel Sano as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one. He's set here's the 0 1 hot shot on the ground is short Simmons dives what a stop the second for one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So two runs on three hits, one angel error, and no one left on base. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Twins three and the Angels one. Craig Gentry digs into the and box in the bottom of Halo. inning number three. And you know, guys, I love a guy like this and leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact, and he can run. In there at the knees as he authors a strike to the leadoff man, nothing in one. The wind up and the 0 1. And here's a foul tip into the catcher's glove, moves it to 0 and 2 now. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Well, he's had a lot of guys swinging at pitches out of the strike zone early on, so it's a great idea to go ahead and bounce one there on 0-2. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Well you're always gunning right, for a strikeout when he's at the plate because his legs oh. make him so dangerous oh. even when he hits just a slow grounder. So nice job of keeping him off base right there. Cole Calhoun will stand in now as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Slider taken here. One ball, one strike. That's a pitch you have to lay off right there. That tight slider busting down and out of the zone. All that can do is tie you up. Third inning here. Three to one our score. On the ground up the middle. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Hold on here, though. You can see the skipper heading out of the dugout now, so that very close safe call might be challenged. Yeah, Matt, definitely a close play right there as we're going to get another look at it right here. 
Boy, that's just so tough to tell for sure from that replay. And we're going to have to see what the word from the dugout is. Remember, the ruling on the field is safe. And it looks like a no from the bench. So they will not challenge the play. And the call will stand with the runner safe at first base. Here's the center fielder Mike Trout and yeah, she'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Runner at first here one man out. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Boy, tough slider right there had him leaning back. I don't think he could have done anything with that pitch, even if he did swing at it. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Drilled right back up the middle. Dozier ranging to his right. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He doesn't really have a chance to set himself up, so this is all arm, but he makes it look routine. Here's Albert now. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. Hit hard to short, reined in. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Well, I think uh, if we're playing angel. tennis, you'd call this one yeah, an unforced error. error. This is fairly oh. routine out to short. I'm not sure what would have caused him to throw so wildly. But you can see the first baseman unable to keep his foot on the bag, and that's going to go down as an E6. Here's C.J. Crone now as he swings and pops this one foul off to the right out of play. Oh and one count and the pitch. Now a swing and an easy fly ball out toward right center. Sano shading to his right and that's the third out. Angels strand a couple. They still trail it here three to one. Brian Dozier is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. And they jumped out to that early lead, so now it's all about just adding on. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a high strike there, 0-1. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four-seam it every once in a while, and when he does, he can forget it. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in there knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 
Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Good change up right there down in the strike zone. Definitely the one they wanted to strike him out on. So that's a great job to lay off. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And when he's down 0 oh and 2, he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2 and 2, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3 and 2. Well, it looked like he had things in control to start him out. So now he's running from 0 oh and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last one wasn't even close inside as he nearly got him and it's ball four that's a real good at bat there he fell behind one and two right out of the gate but instead of going out of the zone to protect he was able to lay off three straight and get his guys a leadoff base runner Jorge Polanco will stand in now following leadoff walk and might we see a bunt attempt here in a two run ball game every extra run helps it's a possibility but I think they'll probably let him take his chances swinging away first offering on its way outside target here and he hits it for strike one. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Hot shot toward third. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. And this usually stems from a guy that's sitting on a fastball. So when he gets that change up, normally he's so far out on his front foot, he'll just hook it foul. But instead, this time he's able to stay back, keep his hands back just long enough to keep this one fair right down the line. Trevor Plouffe will stand in here with two on. And now, following the walk and the single, do you get the sense, EK, that they're getting to him just a bit? Maybe a little. I, I wouldn't be too worried just yet. He's shown the ability to bounce back before, but it's also looking like he might not have his very best stuff. And now we see a right-hander up and throwing in the Angel bullpen. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. You can tell a lot about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Three runs six hits and one error make up the totals for the twins to this point. Maybe too much break on the slider two and one. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Chop foul at the plate and the count holds it two and two. Has to be thinking strikeout here. This is line to left. And this ought to play the couple as this ball's down for extra bases. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. And it's just the fourth the inning here, but eight. he's already third given up more third hits third. in this one than he did in his entire previous outing. Whatever he had going on last time out, it ain't happening here. Now here comes Angels manager Mike Sosha on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. 
So as he leaves, I would imagine these fans would not be much pleased with his performance here this evening as he certainly was not sharp. Jared Weaver is going to come on and make an appearance here, though I suspect even he couldn't have predicted he'd be taking over in just the fourth inning. Kurt Suzuki will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. In for a strike, it's one and one. Oh, and he had a pitch to hit right there, and don't think he doesn't know it. He may not get a better one the rest of the night. Weaver comes set. Here's the one one. And that's more of a slurve than a slider, but whatever it is, it's one and two. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret you've got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine, but you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called, and that's going to be out number one. Well, I think there's something to be said for being patient, and then there's being overly patient. I mean, especially with two strikes, you've got to protect the plate up there. But he looks at four pitches, and he never even took the bat off his shoulder. Eduardo Escobar standing in as he's swinging first pitch and sends a line drive out to left center. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. Here's another instance of a ball actually hit too hard to try to score on. He doesn't have to go all that far to make the play here, so it's probably a wise decision not to test his arm. Standing in now, Eddie Rosario into the seats, 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Giovatella's got it. Throw over to Pujols at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. A run for the Twins, and it comes on this RBI double. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now four to one in favor of the Twins. Leading off the inning, Giovanni Soto, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. First pitch of the at bat. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front a ball and a strike. Yeah, just really jumping out at that last pitch. He had him thinking fastball, maybe even slider. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And at least he's taken a few pitches here. Well, that's more than the rest of these guys can say. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. Around first on his way to second now. And he will get in there safely with a double to start the home fourth. Third baseman, number six. 
Yunel Escobar. Yunel Escobar stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. Well, we'll give you a look there at the graphic. He's credited with double number 11 so far this year. And Escobar swings right through that one as he falls behind here. No balls and two strikes. From the belt, kicks and deals. Sent on the ground out to second. There is Dozier, and he's retired here, one away. Well, and that's just a really well, nice job two. right there. After Short the leadoff double, Andrew I don't care who the next guy is, Simmons. he has to, at the very least, make a productive out. And that's a good job right there as he gets his man to third, now with just one out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Andrelton Simmons. He flew out in his last at-bat. And I'm sure he'd like a base hit right now here of any sort. But hey, another fly ball wouldn't be all that bad because he should be able to drive in a run with a sacrifice fly. From the stretch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Any thought to bring in the infield in here with one away? Mm, still a little early in my book. A run you can live with. What you don't want to do is let this snowball into a big inning. Left side. Kloof has it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. The Manufactured run right Second there. Baseline. You get the double to start Shining. the inning off, and then it's all about get him over and get him in. And two straight ground outs do that job. Johnny Giovatella bats now and will try to start over with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground out. And all he's looking for right now is a pitch that he can drive somewhere. He got to get on base and preferably in scoring position. So maybe he can get his teammates to drive him in. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one one and oh. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Polanco has got it and the side is retired. So one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left. We played four full. Minnesota leads this one four to two. Danny Santana. Heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. And guys, this is the guy you want leading off this inning. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started, set the table for a little bit of a rally. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. and This man out for his second inning of work. Did a nice job getting him 1-2-3 last time around. Yeah, but that was against the 7-8-9 guys. Things may be a little more difficult here now that he has to face the top three in the lineup. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. So he continues to hit the ball well. His second hit of the ball game, and he's aboard on the leadoff single as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. Well, guys, he's one of the best in the league in that department right now. So we'll see if he can stay hot into the dog days of summer and even move up on that list. Having a great year regardless, though. Eduardo Nunez will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. First pitch coming. Here it is. Runner goes for second. Right side hit hard. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. 
I'm not really sure if he didn't get a good break at first or stumbled or what, but this looked like an absolutely perfect hit and run. Instead, he's going to hold on at second base, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Here's Miguel Sano. Line toward the alley in left center. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. Around third and being waved on home. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. He's good. Well, he had that home run earlier in the ball game, and now he's got an RBI single. So he's putting together a pretty nice ball game. Into the box now, Brian Dozier. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. First pitch on its way. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Now with two on, nobody out, you got to be thinking strikeout double play out there on the mound. One or the other is what you really need. First and second here with nobody out. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point? That's a good way to put it. It looks like he's aiming a little too much, and that's not working for him. Shot towards second. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. And that's one of those plays where you might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after this inning ends. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean, hammered out there. But he's going to wind up with nothing to show for it. Into the box, Jorge Polanco. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. High and deep to right center. Back goes Calhoun. Gone! So a three-run shot to right center field as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, this is the chance you take when you work up in the zone like this. I mean, this is right in his happy zone, and he jumps all over it and sends it right over the wall. Here's Trevor Plouffe standing in. Trevor Plouffe. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. And now, even with four runs in against you here in the inning, you got to just wipe the slate clean and just take the approach that you're starting over out there. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. A little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Shot toward right center. A dive, but it's off his glove. Boy, they are really sticking it to him right here. That's the fifth hit he's coughed up in this inning alone, and you got to believe that that leash is getting a little bit shorter with each passing batter. Kurt Suzuki will stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Ah! 
strike. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. To short. Simmons has it. Giovatella. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. Middle of the night from the Big A. It's the Twins eight and the Angels two. Craig Gentry will stand in now. A punch-out victim and twice already. E.K., I'll ask you because Left you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at-bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, <laughs> it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll start becoming a mind game, and you'll start falling into some pretty bad habits. Swung on and missed its 0-1. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Sano is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. And after that four-run right, inning right, right, really six, broke this thing open, four, now four, as a pitcher, you have a luxury of going right after guys. You don't have to worry so much about making that perfect pitch. If you give up a hit, big deal. You got a cushion behind you. Cole Calhoun will be the batter. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. Well, two singles isn't necessarily an eye-catching performance, but hey, I'm sure he's feeling just fine about it. Just oh, off the outside, and it's 1-0. and oh. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Yeah. Give him three hits now for the ball game. This one's probably the weakest of the bunch, but I doubt he'll be complaining. I know I wouldn't be. Mike Trout will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ball game. Just a little off on his earlier swings, guys. You've got to keep that top hand palm up through contact to keep from rolling over. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. All ones the count. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0 and 2. Yeah, and it doesn't look like he's trying to get a ground ball here. He's coming right after him trying to get a punch out. Boy, tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's one and two now. And I think that might have been a little bit of a purpose pitch right there up in the zone. Now I think he's going to come back down with something to try to get that strikeout. One and two. Here it comes. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Oh, 
And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. And when you're trying to think down in the zone, that's a pitch you're just not prepared to see. I think it just caught him off guard there as this is in there at the letters. Here's Albert now. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Ready with the 0-1. Smoked on the ground up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And even with our score well, where it is, go. I mean, Definitely this game is not over. You know, Crow. if they can chip away, maybe get a run or two here, they can get right back in this ball game before you know it. CJ Crone digs in, and we'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in the fifth. Yeah, a couple of ducks on the pond out there looking to make that trip home. This is a big two out AB right here, guys. From the stretch. A fastball oh, off the plate away. It's ball one. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Two runs, seven hits, one error for the Angels so far. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. A two out hit here would be nice, but a two out walk wouldn't be the worst thing in the world either. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Fastball here. I think it has to be. You're licking your chops if you're the hitter. Three and one. You can't walk the bases loaded. Bail and whale. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And the count will be full. He's set. Here's the three and two. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Well, nothing going right on the mound for him right now. This is going to be scored an infield single. And that's just going to make matters worse out there as that loads the bases. Giovanni Soto will stand in now, and suddenly the bases are loaded here with two away. Yeah, this sort of came out of nowhere, didn't it? But when you've got a guy reeling out there like he really doesn't know what hit him, boy, it's time to put the pedal down. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Two splits the plate and it's strike one. Yeah, definitely taken all the way. Not a bad idea with the bases loaded. 
Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right handers up and throwing. Hit to third. Throw on to first will be in time and a good chance for the Angels goes for not as the side is retired. Angels threaten but leave them loaded. Still eight to two. Eduardo Escobar will stand in now to lead things off in the Minnesota sixth. Eduardo Escobar. Drill down the line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. And Weaver's ready. 0-1 oh, on its way. This ball's hit a ton out to center field. Back goes Trout. Still going back. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he'll get in there standing up with a leadoff double. Well, he does it again. Well, His second double of the ball game and now. And I'll tell you what, well, sorry, this one wasn't too far away from being a home run. But you'll see it stay in the ballpark as it's off the wall. And he stays hot with another extra base hit. In now, Eddie Rosario. As he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. Throw on to first in time, one away. Even with the big lead, it still doesn't hurt to play good Up fundamental baseball. Minnesota. So he's able to get Center his man up to third here Danny with one out Santana. with that grounder to the right side. Now to the plate, Danny Santana. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Well, he's batting lefty right now, but does it matter? He can hit from either side of the plate. Well, A bit high there. A ball and no though. strikes. Oof. That high fastball is definitely a pitch guys will pop up and that's what he's looking for on the mound. So that's good restraint to hold back and not swing. Line drive to left. In there. Base hit and that ought to get the run in from third. Well, that's a funny part about baseball. Every day brings you a new game. Yesterday, these guys looked lost. Couldn't buy a run. Tonight, they've got runs coming out of their ears. Eduardo Nunez steps in with one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Yeah, it's been a pretty good inning here so far, so we'll see if they can scratch another run across right here. He's set. Here it comes. On a good slider from Weaver that time for the first strike. That look says it all in the third base dugout. That's not the look of a guy who's going to be sleeping well tonight, is it? Runners on first with one down. Swing and a line drive to left. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. I think this is a bad angle to the ball and let's just say not so great a decision to dive. He should have gotten to this ball but instead he winds up playing this one into extra bases. Miguel Sano will stand in again but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go a solo home run that had him off and running early on. Line to the right side. Calhoun is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And both runners have to hold where they are, so call it a missed opportunity with two gone now. Uh, it's pretty clear they weren't pitching around him there. Even though he's a big-time run producer, they came right at him, and he couldn't drive either one of those guys in. Brian Dozier will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far.
looking to minimize the damage here. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw to Pujols is going to be in time, and the inning is over. Twins forced to settle for one. Bottom part of the order, 7, 8, and 9 due up in the home half. The Twins are in front, 9 to 2. Yunel Escobar gets things started here in the sixth and for the hometown the team. Boy, they've got Very some work to do here, but there's still Yunel a lot of time Escobar. left in this game. So just chip away, chip away. Brandon Kinsler will come out and now take the ball the here as he'll be making his Number 15th 27. appearance of the year. Brandon Kinsler. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing and two. A chance here at least for this guy to get some work in in what should be a fairly low-stress appearance. Yeah, but it seems like these outings are where you relax a little bit too much, you give up three runs, and then watch your ERA climb by another point. He'll need to guard against that. Hit on the ground to short. Escobar is up with it. A quick he's out up. number one. The batter number two, shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. Andrelton Simmons will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Well, guys, if you split the difference between the fly ball and the grounder he's put in play, you've got a nice hey. line drive. So maybe we'll witness that right here. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Skied into straightaway right. Sano is under it. Two gone. Next with the big lead, he can afford Second to take a few run. chances with that fastball. Johnny. And here, Chiamatana. this one works out for him because this is nothing more than an easy fly ball. Stepping in now, Johnny Givatella. Oh, he looks like he's Almost swinging a garden down. hose out there as this is cut on and missed for strike one. You talk about tying a guy up. My goodness. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Santana moves over, and the inning is over. Angels go down one, two, three. They're down by a touchdown. It's nine to two. Back here at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Twins on top in this one as we take a look now at our game summary through the first six innings of play. Your Mike Morin please. will come on now in a mop-up roll as he'll just try and keep this deficit 64. from growing any larger. Morin. Jorge Polanco will stand in as he's accounted for one of the biggest at-bats of the game so far. A three-run shot back Polanco. in the fifth that's really energized his ball club. Drilled on the ground is short. Simmons is there. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Third baseman number 24, Trevor Plouffe. Trevor Plouffe digs in, coming off a single in his last at-bat. Some stirring now in that angel bullpen, as it'll be both a lefty and a righty that start to get loose. Hit hard towards second, but there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. 
making a bid there for a four-hit ball game. And you kind of figured if they were ever going to get this guy out, it might be on a ball exactly like this one. Into the box now, Kurt Suzuki. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. The set and the 1-0 pitch. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Moving under it, Gentry. And that retires the side. Down go the Twins in order, but they hold a 9-2 lead. Craig Gentry will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. That guy's not really providing the spark that they usually hope to get out of him. Maybe he can make something happen right here. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Grounded foul off to the right. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. That's popped up. Now towards short right field. Polanco retreats to the outfield grass, and he has it for round number one. And that's telling of how they've swung the bat. This has just been a punchless offense so far. And this pop-up is pretty indicative of their struggles. Into the box, Cole Calhoun. He's looking to go four for four with a base hit right here. Breaks as bad as this one's popped up. Wow, just a jam sandwich right there. And all he's holding is about half of his bat. Those look like the kind of bats I used to swing with. Hit out towards second. Backhanded. Throw gets him. Two down. Since coming in in the sixth, he's knocked down five in a row. Giving him a real lift out there. Mike Trout will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at-bats so far. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely one of the better hitters in this lineup, and that's why he's in the middle of the order. He just hasn't been able to get it going today. It happens. Now the pitch. Oh, might not have been where he was hoping to put that pitch, but he somehow gets a swing on it anyway. Strike one. Credit where credit's due. This guy's done a good job out of the bullpen. No question. He's been able to hold that lead, and these guys really haven't threatened him at all. Two out, nobody on. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Santana giving chase. He gets there, but he missed it. Well, you know, he does have a long way to go to get to this ball, but geez, once he get there, catch it. I think he's going to tell you that he should have caught that ball, and the official score, he's going to agree with him, too. He's going to get smacked with an error. Here's Albert now. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Whew. 
I, I thought they'd be working the edges against a guy like this, but I caught an awful lot of the plate. Two out here and a runner at second. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. Here's the 0-2. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Angels strand one. They're down by a touchdown. It's 9-2. to two. Eduardo Escobar comes to the plate, and he'll start us off in the eighth. Well, you know he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Here it comes. Drilled to first. And Pujols will simply step on first to record the out. Some good pitching, some good hitting. It all adds up to a 9-2 ball game as you get a look there at the inning-by-inning inning recap of our game to this point. Eddie Rosario will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys, he's got to be feeling a little bit like that dog that gets left out in the rain while the rest of the family's inside by the fire. I guess he's just not seeing what everyone else is. In there, strike one. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. He's throwing a lot of strikes. That's what you want. Comes set with the 0 and 1. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. Maybe a good opportunity here to, to show him a change up, give him a different look. One out, nobody on. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Lifted the other way to left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Up next for the Twins, center fielder, Danny Santana. Digging in now, Danny Santana. He singled his last time up. And that swung on and missed for strike one. There's a fastball pretty close that time but ruled a ball one and one. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. And that misses two and two. I smell another changeup coming here before too long. Could even be right here. Let's go, 
Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Twins are set down one, two, three, but they hold a nine to two lead. CJ Crone will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same and pitcher still out the there. Halo. Seems he's earned himself another yes, inning. I think that's a C. definite C. vote of Crone. confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. Now the 0-2 pitch. Scorched to third. Blue fields it cleanly. One away. Now batting. Catcher, Giovanni Soto. Giovanni Soto gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And this is swung on and missed by Soto as he falls behind now down 0 2. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair and it remains 0 and 2. And that is swung on and missed by Soto as he can't time that one. And there are two gone now. Well, I would think he was due just to pitch an inning or so, but he's pitching pretty darn well. So why not stretch him out a bit? Been working so far. Yunel Escobar will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. step off and try again. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit to first. Polanco over to his left and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order. They're down by a touchdown. It's nine to two. Stepping in, Eduardo Nunez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Boy, he had a great at bat last time up, and he'll look for another pitch he can drive right here. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. And he's just running right through these guys, absolutely worn them down. Hit hard to the right side. Played on the backhand. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Right fielder, Miguel Sano. Miguel Sano strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame.
from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Outside with the fastball that's 1 and 0. That evens it up 1 and 1. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Now at the plate, here's where you got to put yourself in the pitcher's head and figure out what would I throw on a two and two pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. And he's well on his way to a nice series now. Third hit so far tonight. These guys are going to need his production here. So a welcome side indeed. Brian Dozier will step in. A ground out victim his last time. And Matt, with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. Line toward the gap in left center. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. I tell you, that no one's matter. coming in fast, but it's going out faster. Does he square this one up or what? You bet he does. Into the box, Jorge Polanco. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. I'm not sure that pitch would break a pane of glass. That is very tough for a big league hitter to wait that out. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. I tell you, that was not an easy take. It sure wasn't, especially when you've got to protect on an 0-2 count. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Ready to deliver the one and two. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Trout going back on it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. But he will not try it as he heads back to the bag. And oh, I thought he had it easily, but he apparently didn't think so. And there are two gone now. This seems like an awfully big mistake to make out there. It's going to cost him a run. I can't think of a reason why he's not tagging up there. No excuse for it. Settling in now, Trevor Plouffe. He'll look to keep it going three for four so far in the ball game. Come set, now the pitch. Hit hard towards center. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Well, if you want to point fingers at who's to blame for this disaster, you're going to need both hands. In the pitching, the batting, the defense, the execution. Just draw a line through this one. This one's been an absolute disaster. Kurt Suzuki will stand in one more time, and fortunately for him, he'll get a fifth chance here to extend that hitting streak. Yeah, he hasn't had the same success the rest of the guys have, but that could all change with one swing. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. Oh man, if you're a pitching coach, you might want to update your resume after this performance. His guys have been brutal. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball.
hard liner towards short. But this will find the shortstop's glove for the third out of the inning. Twins forced to settle for one. On now to the bottom of inning number nine. Twins lead it 10 to two. Andrelton Simmons will stand in now to begin their half of the ninth in a game that was decided long, long ago. Yep, this is mop-up time out there right now. But hey, these at-bats still count against your batting average, so you can't go up there and just mail it in. You've got to see this through right to the end of the game. And now pitch on the way. Good bite to the slider and he takes strike one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Ah, and he takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Oh, you like the way this guy is just going about his business here. He's got a big lead, but he's pitching like it's a tie game here in the ninth. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. A good high fastball. Maybe something to try and change the eye level there. And now, I might anticipate another slider down in the zone. Maybe even in the dirt. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Boy. <laughs> And just a great call that time to turn to the changeup. That's one of those at the plate where you don't even wait for the umpire to make the call. You know you're a goner. Johnny Givatella stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Santana over to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Well, this is a situation where a home run here isn't going to tie the game. Now he's got to work on just hitting down on the ball and hopefully trying to get it on base. Instead, it's just an easy fly ball in a game where they're running out of outs. Craig Gentry struggling so far in this one. He'll look to erase his 0 for 4 ball game with a base hit right here. Oh man, it's never fun to go over, but let's see if he can find a way to climb out of it. In there at the knees, strike one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. Sets the target low here and it misses one and one. Here's the one and one pitch. Down the line, but this is a foul ball. Again, he sends it out of play. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And with that, I can finally say the four words I've had on my mind for what seems like an eternity. This ball game is over. And this will wind up being the kind of save that you used to see back in the 70s. He gave him all he had out of that bullpen, and he winds up finishing this one off himself. Well, this one pretty much over before it started as we give you a final look at the line score here in what turned out to be a blowout victory.
So a good offensive showing for these guys. But if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our man right there. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no question he was a tough out up there. You see the three hits, including a home run. Without him in the lineup, I think this might have been a different story. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Twins are victorious in this one, 10-2. Good night from Anaheim.